So we have the catheter, the scalpel, we have a suture material with a curved needle in this case. Uh, so since it is a curved needle, I do have a needle driver. You can also if, get your hands on a straight needle if you want to do it by hand. I, I know some people prefer that. That's perfectly acceptable. And then this little device here, th this has actually been probably the culprit. These are two pieces of the same advice. You'll see this little guy here it has a little split in it that, that's meant to go place the catheter in, in here. The problem is that people have been placing the 20 centimeter catheter and this even with the the thing can slide especially if it gets wet which it almost always does because obviously this procedure involves some bleeding since you're uh, piercing the skin and the vein so this though it purports to be a securing device actually is more of a baser that allows you to to uh to help if you were to place the 20 centimeter on the right which you should not do um, so we don't want to use this device this is this is probably the source of the problems that we've been having. I like to sew it in three places. This makes sure that that this is secured well. So you'll see these wings here and here. Those are, are designed, those holes are designed to secure it. And there's a little indentation on the hub here, which is a, a third position to secure it. It's best if you if you secure it in all three positions. This this provides a little mechanical support if something pulls on on the catheter itself so it doesn't the, the hub doesn't move and pull the catheter out. This one actually secures the catheter from moving in and out because usually you have a little bit of slack on these when you do it. So, so it's important to do these two and the third one. And if, if there is extra catheter space, you can secure it to the catheter itself by, by purse stringing it. If you do that, remember this is a cutting needle uh, to be very careful not to cut the catheter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a... a take a bite of the patient's skin here, our fake patient, and I'm going to have it come up through the piece there. Hold that down. I'm going to kind of make this uh, not much room slack here just because I don't want to waste any thread. Uh, I'm going to go standard instrument tie here. So two on the first one just to give it a little more bite. And it's always the same overhand thing, uh, movement, uh, when you tie it. And as long as you go back and forth with your which way the free end goes, so see it's going towards the patient's feet this time and now towards the patient's head. That that makes the square knot work. So I do a couple of a couple of throws there. Just to make sure the knot is secure. This is silk in this case. So it doesn't take very many throws to because it has is a good purchase on itself since it's a braided line. Then I'm gonna get my either scissors or in this case I'll I'll use the the scalpel that came with the kit, just because it's readily available, carefully cut that. Take a nice bite of the patient's skin. And up through the area again. And just repeat, wash, rinse, and repeat. This one's a little bit trickier, so I'm gonna make sure that I get my bite of my needle driver off to the end here. And I'm going to go make a bite there, go underneath the hub, pull myself some slack. And then I'm actually going to wrap this around again. So that I get a nice wrap here. And then make sure that this, this line goes into the, the area there. And then I kind of pulled this a little bit, so I'm gonna pull a little bit back. I have just enough there. Now I'll actually tie this on the same side. 
by going back over it because that will make a nice uh, nice securing the skin will come up and then as you can see that's not going anywhere you can always purse string it like I said so we can in this case we can just make a little remember to try not to pierce the catheter I have to, have to wire the catheter in again um, so this part is where I'm going to want to be very careful. You can even, to be extra safe, you can load the needle backwards here so that the, you're not pushing the point under the catheter. And that will provide an extra layer of protection. Uh, and now I'm just going to tie that, tie that like that. Now you don't have to do this uh, every time, only if there's a significant amount of space here. I did it once. Like I said, you don't have to secure it in four positions. This is only if this is a significant amount of space here, which I, I think this is kind of probably okay, but it was a little borderline in terms of the amount of space between here and this and the, and the insertion point. So I, I, I wanted to be extra safe. So you can, this is the proper way in at least three points to secure a triple lumen catheter. When selecting a catheter, you want to choose the 20 centimeter catheter. It'll go on the left side so it can go across the anominate into the vena cava. Uh, when selecting the right side, you always want to select a 15 centimeter catheter. Uh, this will be the most common selection. 